something where there are lots of pets and lots of good ideas. Hi, Christine. Yeah, we think so, too. Hey, guys. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, great ways to travel with your pet. We know a lot of people decide to board. That is absolutely fine. But many are also looking for a way to take them with them. Of course, maybe going to see family. I know my family wants to see my dog more than me. So bringing <laughs> Nugget home is definitely the number one uh, priority. So this morning, we have Aaron uh, with Murphy this morning here. And you are talking about bringing big dogs on car rides and, and as you travel, maybe not, a little bit bigger than Murphy, right? Right. <laughs> for the dogs that are you know a little bit larger um, it's always a good idea to um, th give them lots of exercise do lots of activities the day before and you know before you get on in the car for that road trip yeah. maybe go for a big walk or run kind of wear them out yeah. so they will just be totally relaxed on your ride and make it really easy for you Definitely. So. I bet they like to sleep. Is that a little bit more calming for them, especially on a long car ride? It can be, yes. And it's great to make your, you know, the area where they'll be like sitting mm -hmm. as comfortable and as safe as possible. Okay. You know, their bed, um, maybe a crate if it'll fit in the back of your car. Great. That way they can be safe and contained and comfortable too. Erin, I love it. Very, very good. All right, creating that, that nook back there for mm -hmm. those big dogs. I'm sure they don't mind those car rides too much, maybe even less than people. <laughs> All right, guys, more helpful information coming up. After this, we'll back to you. Sounds good. Thank you for that, Christine.